Hey everyone, it's me again. It is uh, Thursday, the 19th of December. Christmas is in six days. That That's really strange to me, really, at this moment, because I'm not going home for Christmas. I wish I was, but I have to work on Christmas, because that's what you do here in Korea, apparently. Uh, anyways, uh, today was... Despite it being two weeks after my, my last video vlog, which you haven't seen at this point because I haven't uploaded it. No, maybe I'll do that tonight. But once again, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since my last year vlog. And uh, this, this was my second uh, day with the elementary school kids. My second time with classes with the elementary school kids. It's uh, my fifth week here in Korea, I think. They're starting to blend together. I'm losing track. Honestly, it's 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 getting cold. It's it's getting really cold, really colder. And my body kind of wants to do this thing now, where I want to go to work, eat, and go to sleep, and and only really those three things. Which, which is why I really haven't been that active with vlogs and stuff lately. I've been in, in a bit of a hibernation state, really, because it it just doesn't get. It really doesn't get that warm in in this apartment. I have blankets such to keep me warm, but it just doesn't get it just doesn't get that warm. Um, yeah, it's, that's just gotta live with that. <laughs> and anyways, once again, I keep I keep going off on these these little bunny trails, these these little side tracks. Uh, today was my second day with the kids. Uh, I only had two classes with them today. The sixth graders and the fourth graders. There was some sort of an orchestra concert going on later, and and so the other two classes, the fifth graders and the third graders, were canceled. Because because I have sixth graders, the fourth graders, fifth graders, and third graders, that order. It's kind of weird because I have I have the the pretty good, pretty high level for elementary sixth graders, and and they're the they're the big kids. They they don't really. They they weren't really too enthused about Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer today. I they they were they're too old. They're like uh, okay. the The fourth graders kind of got into it. I guess we'll see how the fifth graders do. If we get to the fifth graders, I'm, I'm still rather confused on what's happening next week. The, the schedule is is is, is very weird. With the, with the holidays, schedules are just very weird because the schools are, are coming to an end. That there's tests and exams, which is why I didn't have class with the elementary schoolers last week. There was exams. Why elementary schoolers are having tests? I have no idea, but it's Korea. It, it's completely different from from America, from any sort of a, a Western school idea. Um. Yeah, the, the the sixth graders. It's kind of funny. They're 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 at this awkward age developmentally where where the boys are are little punks. They're they're just little punks who like to kick and slap and hit each other. And the girls are the girls are the mature ones. They're they're the ones that are towering above the boys. Like the girls are up here, the boys are down here. So it's kind of weird, kind of funny. And the girls are the ones that are kind of standoffish. Don't really want to participate in activities. Like we, we, I tried to teach them Rudolph the Re Red Nose Reindeer. You wouldn't believe how many different versions of Ro Rudolph. I was trying to find a, a good version of, you know, I couldn't do Bing Crosby, or or the or the classic guys, the Rat Pack guys, because those guys are like swing and and they got the the heavy in New York accents in there. Newer versions, the newer versions are just junk. I don't want. A country western version of Rudolph. I don't want a rock version of Rudolph. I want a classic Rudolph. Couldn't even find a nice burl eyes. I found Gene Autry, which eventually worked pretty well. Gene Autry worked the best for, for Rudolph. We'll see when I do Frosty. I'm, I'm thinking of doing Frosty for, for the uh, junior high schoolers. Because they, they, again, getting back on track, the, the, uh, the Rudolph lesson for the elementary school kids. It it went really really fast, at least for the sixth graders. It went really really fast because they're they're a little bit higher level. And Rudolph, I picked it because it was a simple song. 
but it's just a little bit too simple for the sixth graders. So they picked on it, picked up on it pretty quickly. We got through it in like 10 minutes. And it's like, well, crap, what do I do for the next 30 minutes? I mean, I have some activities playing, but I was thinking of doing, you know, the song for like 25 minutes or something like that. Didn't even work like that with the fourth graders. You know, the fourth graders song and really stretching it out as much as I could. Took about 20 minutes. But uh, I, I played the song for the kids, then the Gene Autry version. Then I had this whole PowerPoint thing where I was showing them going a little two lines by two lines. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And I had some, some pictures there. And I started off with, with some uh, pictures of uh, the, the other reindeer, uh, Dasher and Dancer and, and Comet and Blitz. And funny enough, I, I was able to find uh, some pictures. One The picture I found was actually, maybe some of you are, are familiar with uh, the, the new My Little Pony stuff. Uh, the, the picture of the, of the reindeer I found was like that style artwork, that style drawing with the kind of anime big eyes and, and cartoony but I thought it worked best for for that picture um, yeah I, I had some pictures I was showing them going two lines by two lines by two lines with the song and again it's not a big song it, it's a very short song so it didn't take very long then I had this, this little poster of, of Rudolph missing a nose and then I had these little red Cut out noses that I had, had some tape on. I was doing a pin the nose on the pin the nose on Rudolph, pin the tail on the donkey. And again, this this is where the this is where the age difference came in. I mean, the sixth graders, they're kind of like this is baby stuff. We don't really want to do this. Like the girls were, were like, eh. I call on one girl to do it, and it, I I had a I don't uh, it's it's back there. I had a I had a dish towel that I was using to, to blindfold them. The the dish towels they smell. <laughs> they 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 don't smell strong, but if your if your face is crammed up right in them, you can smell them because they're dish towels. I mean, I hadn't used that one in a few weeks. Like I I planned this a couple of weeks in advance, two or three weeks in advance. So I I purposely held that dish towel back from actually being a dish towel. But just being in the general vicinity of the dish towels and being a dish towel in Japan, it kind of permanently absorbed some some smell, some reek. So one girl, as I was, I was as she was uh, going out, just kind of like eh, she a blindfold, just like eh. she 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 wasn't really enjoying it. Then I tried to have them do a kind of a spin and spin around game and and say and have one kid say I am Santa and try to figure out who the who Santa is, but they didn't quite get that. Said all the boys over here shouting, I am Santa! I am Santa! And the girls are just kind of chilling out over here, and like, this is stupid. I went the one that was a girl in the center, covering her eyes and then kind of spinning around, trying to figure out who's saying, I am Santa. The girls were kind of like, I am Santa. And I, I tried to say, okay, you are Santa. Say, I am Santa. They, they they didn't get it very well, and the boys were, well, the boys were being little punks, trying to kick each other and, and smack each other, as, as though there's one guy in the middle and then there's one kid hiding behind me. <laughs> so that, that was weird, and then, like, the last ten minutes, I, I had packed the Karibo, or, or the Goomba, you know, the, the battle damage Goomba you might have seen, you will see in my last video, yeah, how's that for some weird English? You will see it in my last video. Past for me, future for you, or past for you, I guess, if you're watching this now, but... It, English is weird. Okay, people, English is weird. <laughs> it's a weird language that, that came out from mashing, like, three other sort of languages, you know, some, some German in there and then for the stuff and old English was very Germanic and so you got some so you got some other German in there from the Vikings that came and then there was the French in there and other words so it's, uh, English is a very mixed up mashed up language it's weird is, is what I'm getting at. English is weird I still love it it's fascinating but it's weird 
doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes. I know that's why some of you don't like it, because it doesn't make sense. But I like it, and it's 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 fun. But the elementary, it's it's difficult for me doing the elementary because this is my first time doing elementary. I've never done elementary before. 